can see on the road. Anders out front now, Schmiegen in the chase position. Anders, got it hard. Oh, that would be all too well for Anders. Schmiegen getting that third place spot. Too little, too late for Anders. Anders Karun. You know, Anders trying to, try third place, this is for third place. Yeah. Front. 
we do the SSP BMW, as we talked about, already being sold. But yep. uh, he said he's going to let it all hang out. Here we go. Look at him go, ladies and gentlemen. Mobile Direct Drag Racing into the first corner. He's looking good out front. He didn't need yeah. to mimic the lead car. So, a uh, little bit of a bobble there. The but super should have caught up. But it seems like he has a better angle there. Here we go, our next pair. Now Toyota Supra and the SSP BMW M5 Supercharged M3. Nice job so far. Yeah, great. Whoa. Oh. But it didn't have any options. It was like, if he, if he, if he hadn't let go of the car, oh, he misses out there as well. Quite difficult because I think the Supra did a mistake in the first pass there. A really cool vehicle. All right, let's see how we do now. The Opal and Helga. Now that replace strategy here. Helga could see drop in the formation there. Decent chase, chase job right now. He's pulling away from Alex. Yeah. Martin is actually doing quite a good job to leave Helga behind. Whoa! Some of these drivers are really, really stepping it up. When but uh, Daniel Savic is the one who took the win from that heat. So he's uh, moving on. And now we got uh, Helge Uglof. It is an uh, incredible BMW M3 running against Martin Halsten. Whoa, look at Helge Uglof. He's really close to that clipping point. We talked to Martin uh, during the driver's presentation. Well, it's not a race you want to, you know, mimic the lead driver. Get a bit of a jump there. Yeah. But it's a huge And look at this. Oh. We might see an actual change. But you know what? The Super Audi, he completely messed up. Yeah. That's going to be a 10-0. No doubt about that. But Alex, Alex, I got, I got to point out, you know, I don't know if you know. Los is riding this uh, purple Toyota Supra, 2JC power, sponsored by Toyota and Monster. And uh, Donnell is uh, neck on neck with his oh. Nissan S13. Nice job, gaining some applause from the fans. Yeah. Whoa! Woo! Look at Los go there. Come on, Norway. He's licking the wall. Yeah. No, it isn't. And it's quite funny because some of his, uh, some of his friends doesn't actually know what he's called, Steve. They only call him Schmigen. Right. You know better than I do. So Schmigen, he's going to be the stealth in this, in this round. Yeah. As long as he keeps it together, he should get the win. But right now, a great job. Yeah. By the, look at Schmigen yeah, right there. there. He's actually Woo! looking on the August Nightingale's back door. He's trying to get into Roger Nightingale's back door. I think we win because I don't know that's not all I'm getting. And actually Roger Nadim spins out. So this run is ruined for him. Stig Spigen Wilhelmsen. It is a Opel Omega Lupus. Powered by an LS6 engine. We are also the Nagam Opel Omega. Alright, so we're going back to the last battle. To, to rule this one because well, that Andresen. All right, well, here we go. It's the, it's the Drip Monkey pairs, Radar and Anders. Now, Radar had some issues with this vehicle. Already out of the gate, Anders. Anders, Anders. 
Honors the lead. It's the win. <laughs> the win goes to Marius Andersevic. There you go. <laughs> Still doing donuts right in front of us. Well, that's going to be another 10-0 there. Yeah. For Anisher. And uh, Martin Hall, please, didn't have any choice just to stop. Look at his exhaust dragging on the ground. Okay, now he... Uh, he, didn't get, he didn't get the directions here. He's dragging his exhaust. Now, Alex, that's a really cool custom exhaust. It, yeah, it, it's, it's a 13. All right, so the Rockstar Energy Drink S13 has the slight advantage. Whoa, the BMW tapping the wall. Oh, and Nicholas, he loses trip. Yeah, Nicholas loses momentum. And struggles to keep up with Marius here. Oh, Nicholas, she's a little bit more hanging for Marius. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Marius is a pretty damn close to tapping the wall here. Nice. And now we got Niklas de Bruyne, his, uh, his 13, running as Moris Andrasenikus in his new BMW E30. 2JC engine in that BMW. They're kind of running their own lines right now. I'd like to see them closer. Yeah. Wrapping around that final clip. Would like would like to see the BMW a lot. Roman, now that you that rear, look at some nice job filling it up. Uh, so you can see it's really tight out here. Now wrapping around, we want to utilize that rear clipping zone. Nice job by Roman. He's right there on him, door to door. There was a simple mistake in the middle. Come on, make some noise, Norway. A great way to start. He is, uh, Also, EM out to Toyota from the original motor, and the original motor in the motor to Toyota. Now, a little bit of a reset, and the Oh, close goal for La Zendope. But he manages to salvage it. Really decent driving by La Now it seems like we're stepping it around. In the skyline, R32. And he's also been into the wall already today. We saw him down in the depot area where we were straightening out this car. Nice job. A little bit yeah. late entry. A little bit late on the wall. Whoa. Now utilizing the whole course. Nice job by Tommy. Nice job tightening it up. But it good. Oh, yeah, he did rescue that one. All right. Oh. Bring it around. This might be our best run so I far. I think so. Tommy Sandrard. Come on, no way. Oh, oh, nice oh. tight. Navigating around. Let's see the hard part. Boom. Come on, no way. Make some noise. Yeah, the Tommy Sandrard. I would say that our mind is at least the best run. For the max rate of slag. For to get a little more work. When these cars were built, it was not so that they had to think that they could go sideways. Therefore, there is a little limitation on how many steering slag you can have. Med Weissab Stark så kan du altså få noen grader ekstra, og det er det du kan komme i skade for å trenge for å berge ting. Så not seeing a full pull again, Alan Tinian. This is car number 10, Alan Tinian here in the military OD green as I like to call it. And fortunately he spun out, because that's not a very forgiving wall right there. Det er som Jared sier, det er godt at han spant ut der, for han tror på den siste marshmallowen, så hadde han ikke vunnit mye etter. So Alan, all over the place here. The man, Alan, all over the place. Oh, saves it. Yeah. Salvages the run there. He won't get. Oh, now. I don't think I, he's going to get too many points for this. I spoke too soon for Roger. Yeah, probably. Won't get 100 points, but we haven't we haven't seen a flawless run yet. No. But uh, this guy's really cleaning up his act. He's really bring cleaning out, up bring his out. Oh, So here we go. He talked about 2JZ powered BMW. It is. All right, let's see if we can fill that rear clipping zone. Nice job filling it up. Look at they coordinate the lights with his car. Come yeah. on. <laughs> nice job under the bridge. Swinging wide. That's what the judges want to see. Tightening it up. Good navigation under the awning. Nice 
and tight. This is looking like a strong run. Oh! oh! That's a bit too tight. <laughs> With the hard part, a bit of BMWs out here. Something? No, no, the fan belt. Oh, his, yeah, his flywheel. Yeah. His flywheel the, or the something. The fan belt fell off. Oh, and it man. fell off, uh, I think it was six times or so. And at the fastest, he used two JC super engine. Yeah, this is, we talked about Frankenstein and the pits. This is a Frankenstein of a vehicle, but the two JZ power, obviously very capable. He says, um, I talked to him right before this, he said he's having problems with his injectors. So he's gonna, he's gonna get through the course, try to kind of put a run under his belt, and if it's strong, Long enough, he'll probably just park it, and we won't see his second run. So okay. uh, we'll, we'll see how he does again. He was struggling a bit last year as well. He, uh, he was struggling right a bit. now. Yeah. Okay, so it is first judge run. Well, and I think we have uh, also creators. Speaking of the trip monkeys, here he is lighting up the wall. Oh, parking it. I know he was having problems with his transmission. I talked, I talked to them earlier, and Radar, a very consistent driver, but yeah. right now. See right there, needed to swing a wide. He does get it back under the bridge. Oh, -ho! it's pretty Let's close see, to uh, Parks it here at the end. Boom goes the dynamite. Make some noise. The winner of last year, two non consecutive runs. Got some fun here on one of the Opal. Opal with got some American heart underneath the hood of that German engineered Opal. Oh, there are great to make in the voice of Dick's Pogger. sure you're alive. It's cold. <laughs> Look at that. There's a party. As uh, Alm lights him up under the bridge. cross driver called Martin Skarke and he started doing these uh, burnouts many many years ago I think it was like in the early 80s or something like that but it seems like uh, Kenneth Alm has taken it to a whole other level. Dude, Kenneth Alm was on a show on the Alm Brothers I mean I had, I had the uh, pleasure of riding with and whoa his brother Fleming. Oh, oh. This is a hard act to fall, Alex. I mean, this is, yeah. I mean, he's out there just having fun. Not a dog here in Sheen. 
Og hva vil si, jeg er litt kjapp, for de skal tydeligvis line opp noen biler mens Kenneth skal ut på, men altså i hvert fall klar ned i grøfta her. Det er dårlig. 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 Det er d